Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Jose Luis Estero. I'm going to explain how to draw the Bohr model of an element. To write down, to graph the Bohr model of an element, You first have to make the electronic configuration of that element. In page 69 and 70, we're going to make page 70, uh, create the Bohr model for neon. I'm going to do it for argon, okay? And then you do it for neon. Argon has uh, how many electrons? 18. I'm going to do it from modest diagram. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 10, 4f14, 5s2, 5p6, 5d10, 5f14, For 18 electrons, it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, yeah. And now it's complete. To write the Bohr model, you have to add the number of electrons on each level. Here, on first level, you have two electrons, second level have eight, and the third level have eight electrons, okay? So you can write down the nucleus, I'm going to do it all the way. The nucleus with 18 protons, and then one level with two electrons, one and two. The second level with eight electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the third one with eight electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the Bohr model for argon, okay? It's easy or not. One more thing. You have to write first electronic configuration. Second, add number of electrons. Uh, per level, and then, uh, like one thing, what is the number of neutrons in an atom? To get the number of neutrons, you got two numbers. There, on the periodic table, here you have The atomic number and here you have the atomic mass. For argon atomic number is 18 and atomic mass is 14. This is the number of protons, and this is the number of protons plus neutrons. 
So how do you get the number of neutrons in argon? Subtract. Then you got 22 neutrons, okay? So you can to write here, you can write here 22 neutrons, and that's the Bohr model. So I got to put it like the free number of neutrons. Step four, draw. So to make the Bohr model for an atom, first you make the electronic configuration, then you add the electrons for each level, then you uh, calculate the number of neutrons, and then you draw this. For not to make so many circles in the center, I make 18 plus 22n. You can put here P for protons, okay? And then the three levels. Do you think you can do the page 70, the first four? The Bohr model for neon and for calcium? Try, okay? Two and three. And then I ask, answer the four questions. Okay? Come on, page 70. Two and three. I have just explained, okay?